Right, I don't usually do tutorials. I don't like lecturing to people. <laughs> but I'm going to try and do, uh, uh, well, uh, tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. And I'll try and do one every week, hopefully. Uh, this one, I will try and do taking off. Um, this this playlist will be probably just for people who have just, just got into SB. And they've just got a flight stick. And they're trying to take off. And it's not working for them. Um, I do have a friend who who's really good with mouse. Um, I wonder if I can get him to to help me uh, explain mouse aim. But uh, I've never used a mouse, so I can't really talk about that at the moment. So this is just taking off. You've just got a joystick, and you want to learn SB. So you get into a plane. I'm in test flight. Uh, you turn your engine on. It's usually, I think the default key is I to turn your engine on, but I've got mine on a different button. So you turn your engine on. Um, I will go through uh, trimming and other things like that in a different video. But you're in test flight, you've just got your plane and you just put your throttle on and your plane is spinning for some reason. Why is, it, why is my plane spinning? Um, And then you uh, say, oh, what's going on? I don't like this. And then you go back to RP. <laughs> Let's start again. All right, so what is causing that spinning? Well, if you look in the forums, people will say it's the torque of the engine. Other people will say, oh, no, it's the prop wash. Um, prop wash is the turbulence that the propeller gives. Uh, the, the propeller is forcing air back around the plane in a sort of cyclone pushing on one side of the rudder, pushing the plane around. Um, other people are saying it's a torque of the engine. Well, the, the both, right? It's everything and all together. But it's not, it's not really, the, well, it is the torque of the engine. It's uh, the torque of the engine and the flywheel and the centripetal forces that the flywheel's giving is producing what is called uh, gyroscopic precession. And I will put a link up to a video now. You can pause this one and watch that, and it will explain what gyroscopic precession is. So, go and watch that. I'll be back in a minute. Right, so how do we prevent that? Well, we use the rudder. Now, some, most, mostly, most joysticks have a twist, which will uh, enable you to uh, move your rudder. So, if your propeller, because uh, I think the Soviet's propellers might go the opposite way. But uh, this one is going from left to right. So when you put the propeller, when you put the power on, the plane is going to spin to the right. So, Right, so I made a mistake there. This engine goes from right to left, if you look when it starts. It goes from right to left. And he wants to turn right. So what I would do is put left left rudder on. Now if you haven't got a twist rudder, you can probably use the keys that you use in RB. I don't have them set now. Um, but when you use keys, it's it's all or nothing. So what you're going to have to do, instead of... Because I mean, with a twist rudder you can hold the rudder in any position you want. But with keys, it's either on or off. So you're going to have to hold it on, let go, hold it on, let go, hold it on. You know, to uh, to modulate it, so to speak. Uh, so this plane, the Tempest and the Typhoon, some of the 190s, they are really, really strong. When the turn, the the, the plane really turns really badly with these. So this is probably the one. This is probably the trickiest plane to learn in. So if you can learn to take off in this, you can probably take off in anything. So what I would do, I would hold full left rudder, put a bit of power on, and you will turn left. So you just let go a bit, and then put it back on again. Let go a bit, put it back on again, and then gradually, gradually put the power on. And I'm still, if you look at my, if you look at my uh, feet, I'm just going left and right. And after a while it stops that, and then now I'm not using any rudder now because it, it seems to have uh, behaved itself. And then 150 miles per hour you can start to take off. 
put your gear up. And it's that simple. Um, <laughs> well, it's that simple. It's that simple. So, I will go and get a different plane. Um, as I said, that slip angle, you need to adjust. Well, you don't need to, but it's best if you adjust it in trim in test flight. But I'll go over that in a different video. Right, I'll get a different plane, and then I'll uh, be back in a minute. Right, so I'm in the LA-9 now. Um, so if you look, the propeller will go from left to right. And this time the plane will want to turn to the left. So if I put some power on, it wants to turn to the left. Right, so because it turns to the left, we need to rudder if you look at my feet, we need to rudder to the right. Now this isn't as pronounced as the uh, Tempest, but it's still, it's, it's, it still works the same way. So, a little bit of right, a bit more power, a little bit of right, a bit more power, a little bit of right, a bit more power, and I'm still holding right a little bit. And after a while it will settle down and you don't need any rudder at all. And then, ooh, that left wing dropped then, so, there we go, and pick up. On some planes, the wing will drop if you're not going fast enough, and you've just got to catch it. Um, so that is that. Now, uh, now I'm in a, in a really small plane, the 153. It's the uh, premium one, I think, the 153P. Uh, now this plane, because it's so light, the engine will rock, so again, the propeller goes to the right, but when you throttle up, the whole plane wants to go to the left, so you've got to be careful of that as well. So you can see the plane is, is tilting, the, the, that is the torque of the engine turning the plane to the left. So you've got to use a little bit of L, aileron, just a little bit, and rudder. Now you would think the smaller plane would be easy to take off, but it's uh, these are twi tricky. So there we go again. We just gently put the power on. Now this plane is a bit wobblier. Not so much with the the rudder, but uh, with the aileron. If you look at my hand as well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be pushing left a bit, uh, right a bit, as as well as uh, a little bit of rudder because it does want to turn to the left and that's why you need to trim your aircraft because the propeller wants to go one way and the plane wants to go the other but I'll go over trimming later um, but yeah so if I let go of the of the engine it'll the plane will spin right right a little bit if you look I just let go of the engine and it'll want to spin right I put it back on and it wants to spin left um, so yeah Test flight is your friend. Um, uh, yeah? Okay. So if you want to go into a a match and you've you've chosen a plane that you want to go into, just go into test flight. Just keep practicing. Um, as I said in, in simulator mode, there are no easy options. There are no there are no um, shortcuts to greatness. Everything takes time, and it's it's just time and patience. Um, but that that is pretty much taking off. Um, if you've got any suggestions on the next tutorial, oh, I don't like call it a tutorial. I don't like lecturing you. Um, if you've got any suggestions on, on what I should cover next, just leave it in the comments. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks for watching, and just uh, just go into test flight. <laughs> I'll see you later.